Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, Fabulites. I've got questions. What opens with Mary Jane snooping at Justin's place? And what closes with Mary Jane at her place having hit the snooping jackpot? If you guessed being Mary Jane, season four, episode 14, feeling friendless, you're correct. And if you'd like to see how we get from opening to closing, please do. Thank you for clicking on the video and sticking around. My name is Angela and the channel is Be Fabulous You. Welcome and welcome back. Let's try to hurry up and get this done before I run out of time. Okay, so Mary Jane and the producer is at producer Justin's place um, to get his passport. Um, he's texting the front door code, the passport locale. He's telling her to stop snooping as she peruses his passport stamps once she's got them. Um, he's reminding her about the 5 p.m. overnight delivery cutoff. Um, he's giving her the locale of the FedEx. Mary Jane is on her way out, but... She doesn't turn down the opportunity or resist the urge to go through drawers, under the bed, in the closets, and to steal a box from his closet. Okay, so then we see um, Niecy. She's back in the ATL. It's early in the morning. She's suited, booted, energized, and ready to go. Um, she has a whole new perspective, and she is stepping into her destiny. We're at the Good Day USA newsroom, and Mary Jane is noticing um, Kara doing Kara with her new talent and feeling a little friendless. Um, she's overhearing Danny and um, um, talking about the happy Good Day, U Good Day USA family, um, saying, well, we could all be related, except MJ. She's adopted. Ha, 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 ha. Mary Jane closes the door um, in a room with the hairstylist tie. Him. Am I getting fired? Mary Jane. No. I got questions. Snooping. How far is too far? I took a box. We've been dating for weeks and I still feel like I don't know anything about him. The hairstylist. Put the box back and talk to that man. And you gotta book that bartender Lorenzo as soon as possible or he won't be available for your party. Mary Jane, I'm not having the party. Kara's not talking to me. Justin's gone. My brother is in the Mideast somewhere. There's no buffer between me and my colleagues. And the hairstyle is tied. Well, then it's just a work party now. Plaster on that fake smile and go do what you do here every day. And Mary Jane, watch me work. Okay, so then we see Niecy. She's at Claudia's hair salon. I don't remember her. But Niecy is trying to get her job back. Claudia is like, no, once bitten, twice shy. Niecy, I apologize. I want my, my um, job back. I enrolled in school. This is important. Claudia, you'll find a way to make it work, but not here, boo. Bye. Then we see DeRay McKesson. He's speaking at a Black, black Lives uh, um, speaking Black Lives Matters. Black DeRay McKesson speaking Black Lives Matter. And there's a group of young men in the audience, like three or five young men, and they kind of hostile, homo, faggot, or whatever rudeness, hostility they're spewing. Um, Niecy's dad notices what's going on. Um, Danny and, and other people do as well. It's a little subtle, but not that subtle. Danny and her colleague are in a newsroom chatting about Justin. And Danny is microaggressing. Um, it's yeah yeah and mary jane overhears and she goes off on daddy loudly proudly and publicly mary jane says bullshit yeah i'm gonna call it bullshit blah 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 shut up simpleton shut up check out twitter you can see some of the more advanced quotes um the quote for this episode is a great many people think they are thinking when they are merely rearranging their prejudices. That's William James. Then we see Aaliyah, the PR woman. She's um, coming to Mary Jane. Is she hiding in the closet? And uh, Mary Jane is like, uh, how bad is it? Aaliyah is like, uh, you okay, sis? Um, I'm going to assess the damage with Garrett. Um, you regain your composure and you step out of here like you are the anchor of this show, girl. Get it together. Then we see um, DeRay um, telling Niecy's dad, Patrick, that black Twitter has been talking about him. 
Patrick is not sure what that means and he goes over um, to talk to the head of the hecklers or one of the heckler guys and he like you know let me treat you to a meal I want to hear your thoughts then we see Nisi with her girlfriend um, and her girlfriend is like Nisi you are good at hair and Nisi is like I want a chair in the salon to make me legit I don't want to be doing weaves in my mama's basement for my whole life or my grandmama's basement my whole life you know I'm not asking my mom for her help I stopped being the initiator with her three weeks ago and she hasn't even reached out and Claudia is looking at me like I'm some screw up like my dad and then at the office Mary Jane hears um Kyra on the phone in distress Kyra wait what happened I can't honey I'm at work right now and Mary Jane goes up to her you can use my office for privacy then we see the PR um, woman Aaliyah she's joining Mary Mary Jane um She's, oops, hold on a second. Aaliyah is joining Mary Jane in the conference room. And she's like, okay, I just left Justin's office. And Mary Kay is like, okay, I want the good news first. And Aaliyah is like, okay, so we're smoothing things over with HR. Um, we just got over this good day. So that's the good news. Yay. The bad news is we just got over this good day USA issue with Robin and people thinking that we're not a family. And people will talk about this even though there were no videos or anything. Good Day USA is pushing this We Are a Family thing. You need to make your housewarming party a Good Day USA family party. And we'll get a media photographer from one of the entertainment shows to come and promote the event. You gotta And you got to apologize publicly to the entire crew convincingly. Okay, so then we see um, Patrick and the gay bashing heckler dude. I think his name is Javon at a restaurant. And... Um, little guy is like you know the stakes are too high to have some homo running the show and then um, we got to represent like MLK and Patrick is like Bayard Rustin was um, gay my dude and um, he conceived of the March on Washington and uh, he was one of MLK's closest advisors and the heckler is like well MLK kept that stuff under wraps and Pat Patrick is like we have a saying in NA take what you like and leave the rest you got to do the work my dude you got to do the work and then it's important, like you said. Then we see MJ and Aaliyah. And MJ is like, I got to apologize? You are too young to know anything about racism. Live a little girl before you tell me to apologize. And then Aaliyah is like, look, I grew up in Chicago, South Side, and moved to Boston, which is like living in 1841. I know racism. I got a trick. I see them as crazy bag ladies on the streets spewing garbage. You got to use that. Just ignore them and move on. This has you looking bad, not her. Then the phone dings. And um, she's like, little girl, Aaliyah is like, oh, I'm going to see um, Chance the Rapper at a secret show tonight. And Mary Jane is like, oh, you not going with your man? You going with girlfriends? <laughs> uh, you know, I've never seen them. Aaliyah is silent. And then Mary Jane is like, okay, well, go on, have fun. She's trying to get an invitation. It didn't work. Then we see a Mary Jane and the hairdresser Ty. The hairdresser Ty is like, you still got the box? And Mary Jane is like, it took me hours to get it back in order exactly. I'd taken pictures. Look, Justin kept a homemade car from a little sick girl. Oh, it's so sweet. Then they're picking up the box. They drop it. The contents spill all over and out the hairdresser's tie has jokes about a pair of stockings that are in the box but you know she still can't take the junk back then we see um we're at the good day usa newsroom we see mary jane in there she apologizes and she re-invites folks to her party that evening then mary jane rolls up on Kara finishing a phone call and she like look girl i know we in a weird place but since it's a work party i'm hoping you'll come kara is like i can't come and i wouldn't if i could come me being done with you is not going to just blow over. I meant what I said. I am done with you. Comprende? And then we see Patrick at home. He opens the door and welcomes in J um, Javon, who is the heckler dude. And um, the guy is like, uh, you said I could um, come to a meeting um, with you if, if I wanted to go to that meeting. You still going to that meeting? Is it okay if I come? And Patrick is like, yep, let me grab my keys. Then Nisi walks up. She like, you going to a meeting with my dad? What kind of drugs you on? And Javon is like, not that kind of meeting. He's been giving speeches, helping people um, around police brutality, mobilizing the community, Black Lives Matter type stuff. And Nisi is like, he ain't told me none of that. 
Then we're at Good Day USA. We see Mary J on the new Mary Jane on the news desk. She's texting with TJ, the hairdresser Ty, about the box still not returned. Mary Jane asks Kara's talent, the person Kara is producing, you know, what's wrong with Kara? Do you know what's going on? And the talent is like, um, honestly, if it's not about work, I don't know. Her focus is off though. I do know that. So I might have to get Garrett to sign off on this research she did. And Mary Jane is like, uh, did Kara approve it? And the talent is like, yeah, but uh, I heard how she screwed up um, that Rhonda story and I'm new here. I'm not trying to get fired. I'm trying to keep my job. And Mary Jane looks at it and she's like, if Kara turned this in, then it's good. Anybody got any issues, you tell them to come see me. Okay, so then we're um, at Mary Jane is at Justin's place. She can't remember the code at first, but she remembers it and returns the box. I agree with her bails. Girl, why don't you just look at your text messages? Then we thought, but I thought he had changed it because he seemed like that type, but he hadn't. Um, Nisi is asking Patrick about um, the speaking that you're doing that Javon mentioned. Why didn't you tell me? Patrick is like, I thought you didn't want to relive the tasing again and again and again. I didn't think you were interested. You, I had to make you listen to the thing I wrote in the first place. And Nisi is like, I am interested. And they hug. Then we're at MJ's um, um, for the party. And the hairdresser, Ty, is like, is the box returned? Oh, I see your new bestie to be Aaliyah is here. And Kara, um, she can't keep giving you the, the cold shoulder. You're going to have friends soon. And then and Mary Jane is like, Aaliyah is just here on business. And I hope Kara warms up. And then Danny comes in with her friends. And one is wearing a Make America Great Again cap. And Danny um, comes to Mary Jane with her annoying chit chat. And as Danny walks away, a photographer snaps, snaps a picture of Mary Jane giving Danny's back the finger with both hands which I didn't understand this is a professional woman she's not a young child she knows she's in public she's in the media why would she do that I just you know I don't know if it's like the stress of the boyfriend being away and not having her best friends but I didn't really buy that but anyway um and then Aaliyah has to clean up um you know, this situation, she has to clean up Mary Jane's mess. So she saves Mary Jane's wild behind. She gets the photographer to delete the photo. And as the party gets going, Mary Jane gets texts from Kara's son and she ends up leaving the party. Um, we see Mary Jane at the hospital with Kara. And Kara is my dad. It's the end for him. And then Mary J Jane is holding um, Kara, and she's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Then we see Mary Jane back at her place. The party is over. It's late at night. Aaliyah asleep on the couch. You know, she wakes up. Mary Jane is like, oh, you still here? Thanks for being here. Aaliyah's like, somebody had to lock up. You know, it was a success, and I still have my sanity, even though I was dealing with Danny. And Mary Jane is like, how'd you get to be so wise? You a Buddhist? And Aaliyah is like, my mom's bipolar. And Mary Jane is like, you are wise beyond your years. You give me hope for the future and young people. You want to hang out sometimes, just social. And Elise, Aaliyah is like, yes. And then we see Nisi. She's watching her daddy, Patrick, speak at a um, city council forum. And she's like all proud and happy. Then we see Nisi back at the hairdresser, Claudia Salon. I guess there's a connection here where now that she sees that her father isn't an F up, she feels that she doesn't have to be an F up anymore. I don't know. But anyway, she's back at Salon, um, Claudia's salon and she says, I'm ready to do the work. I'm done making excuses. Give me back my booth. And Claudia's like, girl, I ain't got no more space. Not for you. And then Nisi is like, well, thanks for the opportunity. And Claudia's like, okay, you can be my new wash and sweep girl and you can start right now. Here's a broom. And then we see Mary Jane at home and her housekeeper is giving her um, an envelope. She's like, this is important looking and I found it under the couch. And Mary Jane is like, thanks. And then she's like, I'm not going to look. I'm not going to open it. And then she opens it and looks. And she's like, Justin's worth $3 million? And that's the end of the episode. <laughs> I'm so excited that I had time to finish. I was so concerned. So that's the end of the episode. Um, I'll probably give it a B. It was pretty good, I guess. It was good enough. I wasn't like dissatisfied. How'd you like it? Did anything jump out at you? I did not. I didn't buy, you know, Mary Jane being wild. She didn't get where she is by being wild. Are there examples of her being wild before? That just seemed like she know the photographer is here to take pictures. What's she doing? Blah, 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 blah. Thumbs up. Put your comments down below. Like. 
share share the love with all your friends if you're a subscriber thank you so much for subscribing if you're a new subscriber or a subscriber to be come on and subscribe we're working on 150 subscribers um hit the notifications bell wherever it is all my stuff is always down here but i always see people pointing up here but i'm i don't, I don't look on computers i look on my tablet and on my phone um and that's it i don't think anything comes on the tv tonight this is wednesday night next week we got green leaf we got atlanta coming up we got fear the walking dead and the walking dead coming up in october and august uh oh no october i don't october and september um i don't know oh oh yeah that's all i can think of right now so um that's what i got and next week will be the uh the the reunion of uh basketball wives um is there anything else i'm watching these days i got a lot going on like everybody else right i'm not alone we're not alone but we still find time to enjoy you know a little bit of television and analyze and think about it that's what i got people um be you be fabulous be fabulous you peace